In this video, I'll show you how to design and prototype this simple hamburger menu in Adobe XD. For this tutorial, I've already designed a mobile home page. Next is to design the hamburger menu. To do this, you'll need to create another artboard and design how you want the hamburger menu to look. I always like to rename my artboards as I go along so it's easier when it comes to prototyping mode. To rename, just double click the text on the top of the artboard. For this hamburger menu design, I want to have a full flood of yellow as the background. Use the rectangle tool to draw a rectangle the same size as your artboard. Uncheck stroke and for the fill, I'm just going to pull a color from this sunglass image. To create the X, I rotated one of the lines to a 45 degree angle. Then I copy and pasted and rotated the second line to negative 45 degrees to make a perfect X. Next, start adding the navigation text for your menu. Since I used a serif for the logo, I wanted to keep that same typeface for the menu, but make it larger. Depending on how many menu items you have, you'll want to adjust the spacing so it feels like a good balance on the screen. Don't forget to group elements like the two diagonal lines that form the X in the top left hand corner. This makes it easier when it comes to prototyping mode so you can select that full element. When you're happy with the design, switch from design to prototype mode. For the first interaction, Hover over the three lines and you'll notice a blue circle with an arrow in it. Click on this and drag it to the next artboard. This means that when you click on that, it'll transition into that next screen. You can play around with the settings, but for this animation, I'm using the tap trigger, transition, and a dissolve animation. I'm also using ease in out for the easing and a duration of 0.3 seconds. Now we have to prototype the second step. Hover over the X, click and drag so that it connects it to the previous artboard. XD will remember your settings so you won't have to change them if you want to keep the same interaction and transition. Press the play button to preview your interaction and see how it works. If there's something off about your design, you can go back and adjust the animation, easing, and duration. Small adjustments will go a long way. And that's all there is to design and prototype a simple hamburger menu animation in Adobe XD. If you found this tutorial helpful, please give it a like and subscribe for more tutorials. Also, leave a comment below and let me know, what tutorial would you like to see next?